I'm gonna be really honest, guys. This was not a video I expected to make. Glad Bible apologized for what they did. Uh, let's dive in. <laughs> Hello there, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about an email I received yesterday morning, one that was extremely unexpected. Uh, it took me by surprise, and it's a follow-up to the video that I did a couple days ago about how Lad Bible did not use my content appropriately per what I requested, per what we agreed. Problem here is that they clearly received my request, told me, eh, too bad, not gonna happen, and then went ahead and did something without any kind of response from me. That's wrong. That's an abuse of power. That's violating my rights as a creator, as someone who owns this content. Just as a quick recap for those of you who did watch that video, basically they took my content, I asked that I be credited in a certain way, they did not credit me in that certain way, and they published it before I had a chance to properly respond to them. Um, there were a number of other issues that I addressed in that video and I was not super happy about it. When I published that video, I did not think that I would hear anything from them, sincerely. One of the reasons for that, and I didn't mention this in my original video, is because I had sent three emails with no replies. You saw one of those messages that was the last one that I sent where I asked that they please at least tag my Facebook page, right? At least I could get some traffic there. Um, but I had sent three messages, all that never got a response, and so I didn't see the purpose in sending another one before I published that video. So I didn't, and I did not expect any kind of reply. But I woke up to find this message waiting for me. It reads, Hi Joe, I'm emailing to see if you'd be happy to share a contact number I could reach you at, as I would like to personally say sorry for the mistake on behalf of Lad Bible regarding the crediting of the video below. I can assure you, the below is not how we like to operate. I hope to speak to you to offer a full and sincere apology. I can safely say that I've never had an organization or a company ever apologize to me, and I would just like to say right off the bat, thank you, Lad Bible. I really appreciate your apology. So many times I think we like to skirt around the issue or if a mistake has been made or something has been done wrong, um, it's easy to justify it instead of just saying, hey, I'm sorry. And I appreciate that you seem to take responsibility for it and apologize for it. So thank you for that. I have not received a phone call just yet. I'm sure that that's something that's in the works or in process. On top of that, I was looking around and it appears as though my video has been taken down. I wondered if they would do that or maybe give me credit the way that I requested in the first place. They just took it down entirely. So there's no longer any trace of it on their social media websites or their website that I can find. One of the big reasons that I made the video that I made about Lad Bible is because they are such a large organization and I'm just a small creator in their eyes. At the end of that video, I urged fellow creators to remember that they do have a voice when working with larger organizations and corporations. It's, it's easy to get lost. It's easy to feel like you don't have any power or control when you're working with people who are much more powerful than you are in whatever realm you're discussing and to remember that you actually do have a voice and I feel like this situation shows that shows that change can actually happen if you say something if you speak up by the way if you hear a lot of wrestling in the background of this video I have a few pet rats and they are currently remodeling their cage they're tearing down walls they're ripping cardboard they're having grand old time so I apologize for the background noise the thing that I asked for from Lad Bible in the video that I made was to do better that they're better than this, that this is a wrong thing to do and you shouldn't treat your creators this way, the people who you are profiting off of. And I appreciate the apology. They took my content down. I hesitated to make the original video that I made about what happened with Lad Bible for a number of reasons, but one reason was because we live in this cancel culture. I'm sure most of you know what I say when I'm talking about that, where if someone or some organization does one thing wrong, they're canceled, they're written off forever, we can no longer associate with them. And there are times where that is entirely justified, but there are also times where it's not justified. And I feel like making a semi-sensationalized video saying, Lad Bible screwed me over in order to go viral, they're abusing their power, those statements are all true, but people can take them in different directions and cancel a company, right? And like call for it to be burnt to the ground. For me, the goal when it comes to calling anything out is to make it right for someone to apologize and if there are additional damages for those to be made right as well. I believe in forgiveness. Let me just clarify, forgiveness is not the same as saying it was okay. Forgiveness is not the same as letting someone off the hook if something was done illegally, so on and so forth. But to me, forgiving someone is letting them off the emotional hook and no longer 
longer emotionally holding that against them. So Lad Bible, I appreciate your apology. I accept it. You said in your message that you assure me this is not how you normally treat people, and I hope that's true. I hope that you know that it does have an effect on people, how you interact with them, how you treat them. It definitely had an effect on me, and I hope that you know that. And to everyone who watched that original video and was so supportive and gave me advice and pointed out different things, thank you. I really, really, truly appreciate you guys. This Footless Show community continues to astound me, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you for following along, and thank you for caring, and thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. A huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for choosing to support me and this channel. You help me more than you know. Thank you. To my Footless Joe community, I love you guys. I'm thinking of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have her from the sky.